what's up guys of course welcome to another pokemon wi-fi battle which yours through of course the scavenger don't worry about the first screen here it sadly was the best i got the finish probably is not that pixelated but uh yeah didn't think about that when i did the pre-screening so sorry about that and for everybody else who have missed this notice my capture card broke down and i've set up repairs today actually and hopefully you know we'll get something out of that i'm it's frustrating um, luckily though the big games will be recorded by friends and uh, I'll gonna try to make the most out of it like there's not gonna be as much uploads anymore uh, for the time being until I get my capture card back but we might be doing something else uh, anyway let's get into this game this game was really interesting and I needed to record all the good games I had left that uh, didn't um, get capture card quality and this was one of them against Star Dasher and this is one of those games that you're gonna find out that uh, um, maybe things should have ended as it did, but they still did. My opponent is a very good team with some striker, Pelipper, um, that purplish pig? Yeah. Grum pig, something like that, no. Oh, damn it! Uh, whatever. Um, Clefairy, Stoutland, and Torterra. I myself was using Luminion's. Damn it. <laughs> I don't even know these Pokemon's names, now do I? Uh, Sherim, Relicant, Honedge, and Volbeat. And basically, I'm just gonna start off with Luminion, go for a U-turn, hit something hard, and try to do this fast. So, with all this mind, guys, let's go. So yeah, you know it's bad when you have to Google the names. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Monferno. It actually was Grumpy. How about that? So anyway, my opponent's gonna start with Kevin the Turtle, and I just like I said, gonna start with Luminion, and gonna go for U-turn. There is no hindrance for me actually doing this, but actually gonna switch out and switch into the Bacon. Which is the Grumpig, and well, you know, I'm banded and all, you know, and Grumpig doesn't really have, you know, the massive defenses, so this does a lot of damage, like a real lot of damage. So the Grumpig is kind of down for the count, so I'm gonna go to Madbug, which is my weather setter, and that should probably be said too. This is actually an NU team, but I have to say, since this was a PE match, I have to take away the NU aspect out of it, so the weather team is not as weatherish. And the only thing really having a big perk out of this is actually the Hone Edge. Uh, so my opponent's gonna go for Psychic. It's not gonna do a whole lot, but you know, it's still there. It's definitely still damage, if anything. And you know, Grumpig is just all that dancing going on. And you know, I'm really feeling that he's he's really, really, really feeling it. And I'm just gonna go for U-turn, hoping that it is enough. And it is. Luckily for me though, I mean there is not like I have a lot of you know attack investment there. I'll say it's probably close to zero I think at 22 actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go into Beatrix Which is the beast the monster that choice Banded Karim with pedal blizzard. Yeah, so I'm basically going for frustration trying to take her take him out But with the Sun and all even with my specialty defenses Sherim just isn't ready. She wasn't ready. No, I'm feeling Kevin Hart here. She wasn't ready. And Sherim is gonna fall. I was so disappointed at this point because I was like, no, I want to use Sherim. Damn it. So I'm gonna go to the stack, which is the Monferno. Ha, remember the name. And um, there is really not a whole lot I could do here. I could go for Mac Punch. Um, but I decided to go for Nasty Plot instead. Basically, I just needed to get some attack going. I was, like I said previously, prepared here to kind of lose. So he's gonna go to Pico with the Pelipper. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have Grass Knot and I have Flamethrower. I was debating whether or not Grass Knot was the better move. Um, after this damage, I'll say no. Pelipper doesn't really, it isn't that heavy. And of course the sun is up, so you know, my bad for not taking advantage out of that because Flamethrower it's gonna do a lot like it's generally the stronger move and I have no idea what I'm doing because look at this it would have been dead had I made that call I can't believe it I can't same way my opponent's gonna go for U-turn and uh, not really knowing why I guess ship damage is not really feeling that you know the damage output isn't really that bad uh, so he's gonna go to Sippy he's Seb Striker and um, I'm just gonna go for vacuum wave getting some damage on this and obviously, you know, it's not doing a whole lot, but in contrast to what I have to make call, it's it's good enough. It's definitely good enough. So this deck is gonna fall 
and the zippy zippy is uh, well not feeling it. So I'm going to go to Ragnarok, which is a play on Ragnarok, but with V's instead of R. And uh, I sadly have to make one of those really bad calls, where I go for a Shadow Sneak, fully aware of the opponent has, uh, of course, a normal type. And what makes this even worse is that he got full Fina, which is the scrappy bandit. It's full. No, really, it's it's really <laughs> it is his thing out of it. And you know I can freak out. I see that's banded after that superpower. And um, look, I know he was scrappy before, even with starting this, but uh, that just confirms it sadly. So then we go for bounce. Um, not because bounce is necessarily gonna do a whole lot of damage. I was just like I said, I was joking around, much like my opponent to be honest. So he's gonna go to his cliff fairy says and Luminion just yeah, he he missed that, and that's bad. We're gonna try that one more time. Because we don't want to get screwed over. Uh, my opponent go for a T wave, obviously not hitting me, and the bounce does. Yeah, yeah, that's that that's unfortunate. What makes it more unfortunate is, of course, that well, I only do like 25%. He can set up whole mines, and um, I'm thankful granted this thing is Medi Guard, and I can't stall him out, which makes him dangerous. And uh, he's actually going for Moonblast there. I did not see it coming. I thought we'd we'll take a corner's chance of setting up. And um, I'll barely live that. And I'm going to go for a T wave. And this T wave, this T wave is going to be interesting. Remember that T wave before Volbeat goes down. So obviously, I have not a huge, like, necessity against or with the. Um, what do you call it? The sun. I, I have no reason to go for that. And I go to Vagnavok. Basically, try to force him out. I mean, Iron Head is uh, just in general dangerous here, and uh, my opponent was definitely feeling that. Well, I myself just went for a sword stance, and uh, that might have been the, a risky move thinking about it. Um, since I still got the full Fina, and we still saw that superpower, so it might actually be a bad call. So, let's go for Shadow Sneak, taking out the Pico, easy peasy. And as of right now, I mean. On the stream, I was basically like, "Yeah, I'm waiting to lose. This is this is what it's all about." So he's gonna go to his Kevin the Turtle, go for an EQ, and um, I'm gonna take it. I mean, I, I don't die of it, and Iron Head is definitely not doing enough. And um, yeah, I mean, I probably should switch out, right? But I was thinking, I need some last effort damage and go for Shadow Sneak instead this time around. But um, like I said, I didn't take this battle too seriously, nor did my opponent. So he's gonna go for a wood hammer for some reason. Obviously, I'll leave that for I gonna say some reason because that's that's tremendous. And um, I think my opponent really was feeling that this Pokemon is probably gonna die to rocks alone. So he decides to go for stealth rocks instead here, and uh, you know, getting so that the Lumineon gonna die on him on the switch in. We should also go for the Vagnavok if they're gonna come in on the switch in. So. That's not a bad play, but um, what my opponent does here, like I said, he is playing around. He go for a second layer of <laughs> stealth rocks, while I go for a sacred sword, and that's gonna finish it up. I think my opponent felt that maybe Shadow Snake will take me out, so, or take him out. So we just push button to make the turn go. So anyway, Full is gonna come in, and I was basically banking here, or not really banking, but I was really hoping that um, I was able to survive the rocks. Because I still needed the Shadow Sneak against Sub Striker, because Sub Striker wins by default, of course. Um, so, yeah, I'm obviously on fault of that. And uh, he's gonna go for frustration, which means that my tombstone, my blind freaking tombstone, is gonna go for head smashes. It is a Scarf head smash, and he misses his first one, and I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. It is resisted damage. We're fine. We are fine. Um, I go for second one, land it. Awesome. Thank you, Tombstone. Doesn't kill, sadly. And the second frustration is gonna come. And, you know, now we're pretty close to dying. Uh, gonna go for the last head smash. But, you know, Tombstone, you know, it, this is the really can't that really can't. Uh, luckily, I do survive the onslaught here. I'm gonna go for another, the fourth head smash, which would land over 50% ish in our landing succession, which is tremendous and important. Uh, and now it's gonna go to his Clefairy Says, but. Um, yeah, he's gonna miss that again, and luckily for me, my opponent is fully paralyzed, which is important, because the second one will land. But not kill though, it won't kill, 
but the boom blast here definitely will. So the only Pokemon I have got left is the um, uh, is the Hone Edge or the Vagnavok, and it all comes down to if I can survive the Stellar Probe. Because like if I do that, then I won the game, and we live on free HP. Which you guys hardly can see because I assumed or filmed out of focus. But yeah, I was probably three HP, and there is nothing Star that you can do now. It's all over. It is all over, and it all came down to that he was joking around too much, because he got this in the bag, but so sadly, and I mean sadly, and the outcome is something else, and to be honest here to the Star Rasher, you had this game, I mean, I won't deny this this fact, I mean, of course you would have won this match, and um, I'm not going to take like a big credit out of it, because I think it was a fun game, and you did well. It just came down with one of those really, really weird things, and uh, damn, it's rough. It's rough. So yeah, we we, we do manage to win, obviously. Um, I won't say it's a fair outcome. Like I said before, my opponent does play around. Sorry, is a very, very good player, and uh, I think he felt that through and through this match that he had his bell under control and decided to do a little thing out of it. It was still on the stream, of course, and I think it ended up being not in his favor. Um, Honage probably shouldn't have survived the onslaught there really and you know I was playing really risky with Cherim and um, I, I won by chance I, I really did um, I was not comfortable that I would survive the self rocks uh, with uh, Honage so you know that's a thing too but that's obviously my problem and it was really fun that I didn't tie out of it I would have been fine if I did because like I said Stardusher through and through was the better player um, and with that said, um, I was gonna mention you have to, we're gonna have some lesser quality videos from uh, from now on. Like I said before going in, um, we're gonna try to make the big games are definitely gonna be higher quality. You're gonna make pulls on strings with friends, but uh, we're also gonna have these kind of uploads. And I hope you're fine with that. Even if you aren't, you know, show your support anyway. Uh, I really wanna, you know, know what you guys think. Um, is this fine or should I just? wait for the capture card to come back in six weeks uh, anyway guys just give me whatever's really and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that so anyway thank you guys for watching as always make sure to leave a like if you like this video and I'll see you guys in a few days until then take care bye